You just got your license run on low fuel motorsport and you're ready to start this career in a proper way you want to watch this video i created a lot of tips of some issues and problems and challenges you don't even know you're gonna have until you're gonna start so let's get into it and i promise if you watch this whole video you will gain your safety rating a lot faster you will gain some more elo rating and that will make the experience even better on this platform and what kind of guy would i be if i didn't share my own safety rating development so i started really good here in the rookie so i know how to do it and i have climbed even more and i've also experienced how to not do it so and of course uh, let us not forget the juicy elo rating where it's all about being on a safe driving will get you elo eventually so staying out of trouble is uh, always your first priority and we'll probably repeat that a few times in this video tip number one you want to plan ahead and you want to have a decent knowledge of the track and have a good car setup safe car setup for the track you're driving you get that out of the way you can fully focus on getting a decent qualifying in what i also recommend is start the registration like a half an hour before the race starts and what i also recommend is test out your gear in like a free practice on the single player so you know your pedals are working your steering wheel is working and you can actually hit track and like be full focused make sure the kids and the wife are away so you don't get disturbed when you're doing a race on the website on the website i will show you click here we have a sign up here we have all the different of course the rookies will not be available to me but let's say i would want to drive this sprint race on catalonia sign me up push the car here accept all these things now we have 20 minutes of left i can just like chill maybe think about what temperatures it's gonna be so i'm gonna click this one the race number that's gonna pop up in the server if we open assetto corsa competizione we go into the multiplayer pick that car i believe it's in top here as well make sure you have all server type and you do the ping limit off Control v in the search bar now obviously it's not here yet but when it's like now it's like 4 13 55 so it's 14 15 then it will show up don't panic if it's not appearing it will appear maybe a minute two minutes three minutes later hell sometimes i waited for five minutes to appear and also you want to check on the website if the split changes because sometimes over here right now we have only two splits we have here a few aliens and where am i i'm here so i'm the sixth one this will change if if more people are coming in this splits maybe it will be 10 splits maybe i will be in split three or two whatever so check the split and type in lfm for the password tip number two don't drive in the free practice and don't use the chat it's really annoying if people start chatting it's also not allowed to get penalties for that don't do it tip number three strategy for qualifying put in fuel for the car for the full qualifying and just go out and start driving first hitting that banker lap safe lap increase the risk and get even more comfortable you should already be comfortable but now you're getting even more comfortable and i've normally find if i can just go full throttle on qualifying just i see it just as a massive practice session instead of pri trying to put like a lit the least amount of fuel in there and to then first time hit that perfect lap but normally it pays off to be like consistent tip number four wait a minute or two get like before you go on track there, there will be always 10 15 cars they will immediately leave the pit and then you're just waiting in that third sector everybody's like parked up there and waiting for each other to create gaps I believe it's more smarter to wait a little bit wait for that first car to hit sector two or maybe enter sector three go out then and then you will find you will have a lot of space you don't have to wait on track to go for that uh, qualifying uh, hot lap tip number 4.5 like this video and subscribe to the channel thanks for doing that tip number five 
if you ignore tip number four then you gonna have to be patient there will be cars piling up in the third sector just wait your turn don't be like oh I'm, I'm gonna be fastest anyway so i will just overtake you all no just wait let everybody create a nice gap for himself you need to create a good gap for yourself if the one behind you is too close on the gap that's their problem if they're gonna be faster than you they need to overtake you like in a safe way so your lap doesn't get compromised tip number six use your qualifying session also to get your tires in the perfect window so normally if you made a setup in like 30 degrees i always make them in a 30 degrees environment if it's gonna be like a night race or it's gonna be a race with high temperatures use the brake ducts and tire uh, pressures to adjust it in qualifying so in the race you will have the proper values tip number seven pit exit and the radar or actually the track radar have a look when you want to re-enter in a qualifying session maybe you want to change something on the car or whatever just have a look on track see how much people are coming on the straight because on spa or on like the park or in mola it's really awkward to re-enter the track when there's like three four guys going for their hot lap also really check the mirrors really respect respect the pit exit and also learn the pit entry if you're doing like a longer race and you need a pit stop it's always nice to know exactly where you need to break for the pit entry because speeding in the pit lane are hard penalties mate tip number eight the importance of qualifying it's really important that you do your best in qualifying don't uh, be the guy that let's say is going to be oh, i'm going to start from the rear because then i will have like a really clean race no i think it's important to get the best qualifying in as possible and then the field everybody needs to do this the field will be on pace the number one will be the fastest and the number 36 or 37 or whatever will be the slowest you have more chance of having a clean race than the fastest guys or faster guys will start from the back becoming impatient um, but don't get me started tip number nine use a proper fuel calculator this is the fuel calculator i use i also use this for the overlays it's very easy to use Put in the session time, put in your lap times and see how much fuel it comes up with. I also put a formation lap in here as well. Even add like me sometimes two or three liters extra so I know I'm gonna be safe. And this one I put in the description. Tip number 10, set up consistency. So you made a setup, you went for that qualifying, you put in the liters, don't change the setup anymore because i did changes on setups before the race i was like ah, it's maybe still a little bit understeery so i take a little bit of uh, more uh, right height on the rear and change the springs a little bit and then i'm in a car that is completely undrivable or or gets like five percent of a problem in it so we have a like constant pain of the setup that was changed so work with it and then later go in your own practice session to optimize the setup but i wouldn't don't change the setup from qualifying to race you will regret it tip number 11 when the race starts and we start the engine and the field starts rolling hit that brake pedal together with the throttle so we heat up the brakes brake pads and it automatically heats up the rims and heats up the tires as much as possible so that's really important that you have that little bit of extra grip the tires probably won't get to their ideal window or temperatures but at least there is a lot more heat in it and if you look around all the other cars are probably doing that as well but again this is like a beginner video you want to make sure you get that tires heating up as soon as possible when driving up to that start lane and starting your race tip number 12 when the lights go green you stay on your line don't make sudden movements on unless you're exactly like really sure you can change the line to the inside but also the inside is not always perfect you want to stay on your own line in the first bend in the second bend in the corner that follows if cars are next to you 
in front of you if you immediately start switching your line that's how most crashes are starting some weirdo changing his line all of a sudden and it completely makes a chaos so stay on your line and survive those first few corners even laps to be clean and stay out of trouble tip number 13 laser focus laser focus on all the cars in front who start with braking those braking lines i believe you should really be ready to hit that brake full throttle to avoid bumping into somebody because it can get like a parking lot in the first corner maybe like monza you know everybody's jamming up probably you're gonna be even standing still at some point so be careful of that tip number 14 now we are racing yeah we survived that first few laps now staying out of trouble is your top priority now don't get me started on how much position i've gained just staying out of trouble don't get into unnecessary hard fights that you cannot win just staying out of trouble will gain you the most positions i i had like races where we had like a start and then few guys overtook me and then there were others like really impatient trying to overtake me and then later on they're all in the gravel somewhere they all had like painted on the wall with a massive crash don't do it man just stay out of trouble that will be your top priority tip 14.2 and i'm with tip 14 there, it's like 10 part series in and out of itself but i cannot not mention them i need to mention it track limits really important if you get a track limit the first one okay man that's that's the first one the second one and then the third one is gonna be a problem and then when you have three track limits you will get like a drive through or like a stop and go i mean your race is over so don't get into those track limits if you're going wide release the throttle and then the game will probably give you like a no time gain it's really important actually it's four track limits sorry for that this recording is really hard on me at the moment and uh, you know what's nice when 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 somebody's in front of you and is getting a stop and go because of track limits it's, it's just a bye bye see you later tip 14.5 don't defend aggressively uh, there's no use i actually prefer if somebody behind me is really fast i just let them buy and chase them down that's probably a better strategy than completely trying to hold them back and try to maintain position i'm not saying just let everybody pass but if you really feel like you cannot keep up with the guy behind you just let him pass you will stay out of trouble you know that was like still tip number 14 is staying out of trouble 14.8 this is also a really important point assume assume good intent everybody on low fuel motorsport is probably here to do safe clean racing if you really feel a victim all the time into crashes and everything that's not the case man it's really people are wanting to drive cleanly nine out of ten times it's just inexperience or impatience but people are not here to wreck you 40.9 maybe share this video with somebody who hit you maybe they can pick up a thing or two from this uh, video tip number 15 show some gratitude if you had a good race and you had fun with some players type in a message on the website hey man thanks for driving this way thanks for wheel to wheel racing blah 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 i really enjoy it i mean i always do that as well it's really good oh and by the way so sorry i totally forgot but if you don't have the license yet on your motorsport watch this other video next <laughs>